Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of RCW Ravage Championship Wrestling. This is episode 16 of Season 6. We are getting closer and closer to the RCW Rebirth pay-per-view, but we have a couple stops before that. Um, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing... I'm hanging in there. Um, you know... College officially starts back up on Thursday because obviously with the coronavirus and everything going around, they're doing uh, what they call social distancing and online learning. So basically all my classes are online now. I basically just had to constantly check my emails, constantly check Blackboard and figure out what the teachers want me to do and kind of go from there. And so it's, so it's been a a lot of uh, anxiety and a lot of uh, nerve-wracking things, but we will manage. Hey, Lightning, how's it going? Actually, you came just right in time because we're about to start our first match. So, um, before I get into uh, the first match, if it's your first time here, this is Rabbit Championship Wrestling. Um, a EFED that I started back in, I believe it was WWE 2K18, kind of as like a test run, see if it was something that I wanted to do. I've been, I've been in YouTube and content creation for about 11 years now. I started like when I was 10 years old with a buddy of mine, um, and then it kind of just took off from there. I kind of, I got... A streaming set up and I got everything set up and and I've always been a fan of wrestling so I thought wouldn't it be cool to have your own wrestling show have your own wrestlers and make everything um if you'd like to check out any of the other episodes all the way from season one to now um it is on my youtube channel at botch tv you can enter and yt the letters yt there with the Point there and and you'll be given a link to my youtube channel uh, i also have a website uh if you uh, the command web um you gain access to that and the website um contains all of the rcw episodes um plus blogs on wrestling so sometimes i like to um talk about a superstar and talk about their run in a particular promotion or maybe I post a blog on a pay-per-view that I had seen, or maybe an event that I went to, like, live and wanted to talk about it, um, and, and other things. I also have a podcast called The Angle Podcast with my co-host Chaotic911 and Young Sin, and that is a podcast where we talk about wrestling, any type of... Um, any type of uh, anything wrestling um, we talk about on there. I also have a merch store, which are down in my Twitch panels too as well, um, where you guys can get some of the uh, shirts that you'll see some of the characters wear in the game. I had to turn entrances off in 2K20 simply because it crashes the game. Um, but you can use... Uh, you can go on there to explore some of the library, um, some of the merch library, uh, some of the characters they have. They wear uh, their own shirts, and I actually have one of my own shirts coming on Thursday. Um, feel free to get some of those, a portion of... For real, does it fuck... Yeah, it, it does. Um, it, it does sometimes. It doesn't do it all the time, so, like, crashes are... Very inconsistent, but just to avoid any crashes, I just turned it off. Uh, I just turned entrances off. But if you turn entrances off, it pretty much prevents it from crashing. Um, if you use custom arenas and custom... You know, that's the only thing that's been a real problem for me, but I'd rather not have the entrances and actually be able to do my show than to completely go back to square one or whatever, go back to 2K19 and, and have to redo everything again. Um, 
You know, because there's stuff that I've done in this game that I haven't done in 2K19, so I don't want to have to spend more time on creating stuff again. Um, so feel free to check that out. Um, a portion of that merch money goes to me, um, so that allows me to um, buy more things for the stream. Uh, it allowed me to buy my Elgato Stream Deck XL, which you guys can't see right now, but allowed me to buy that uh i think uh i want to just thank you guys real quick because um um for getting a hundred dollars we've made a hundred dollars or i've made a hundred dollars i i should say off of the merch in one month um so i thank you guys for that 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 means you guys are buying the merch and you guys are enjoying it um so I really appreciate uh, more more merch designs and more merch ideas are coming. I definitely want to make some pillows or something. Um, some more like accessories, like phone cases and like that. Some other stuff that are outside the t-shirt department. Um, because right now there's really only t-shirts. Because um, I'm a graphic t-shirt kind of guy. So I love wrestling t-shirts. So... We have, we actually have a hoodie on there, um, too, as well, the RCW hoodie, so with the RCW logo that you see right there, um, we actually have that there. Um, so without further ado, uh, now that I've explained my whole spiel here, I, I just like to do that just in case anybody new comes into this, don't know what this whole thing is about. So, with that, we are on to our, uh... First match here, and I apologize again, entrances are off for the sake of, you know, us preventing from crashing, because then I have to go to the BRB screen, then I have to boot up the game again, and, because and, what I do after all of these uh, streams are over, like after the stream is over, I actually go in and I edit the video, I download the video, and I go in and I edit it, um, crop it down a bit. Um, for YouTube, so it it get it it's just a pain in the butt to edit everything out that isn't the game, you know. So like I edit out the starting soon stuff and everything, um, so that it takes like seven minutes off of the video, so that I don't have to have that there, and it's just a pain in the butt having to edit everything. Also, you can check out on my YouTube as well. I forgot to mention that I have other wrestling content that is related to RCW, but it's not RCW. It is uh, the My Career Universe modes of Luna and Brian Outlaw, my two two of the Outlaw characters that you that you will see. You won't see Luna here tonight on the card. She's not on the card, but Sky Outlaw is. See her in a Ravage Cage match, which that is a new stipulation we have here in rcw where you have five minutes to escape the cage five minutes to escape the cage that is it there there are no pinfalls or submission in that match you must escape the cage within five minutes brian outlaw is taking it max mercury here max mercury since returning he has had not the best um, win-loss ratio list. Lost to Randy Orton, the RCW Carnage Champion, um, in his return to action. That hasn't been... Uh, that hasn't been too nice for him, but hopefully he can get a win here over the RCW World Champion and Brian Outlaw is... Picks him down here. I spent a lot of time on that uh, website, so feel free to check it out. There's going to be a lot of um, sort of exclu exclusive website series. So basically what's going to happen is um, it's going to be kind of like Netflix, so to speak. going to kind of have like that Netflix original style series. And I wanted to do that just so that people would have sort of initiative to come to the website instead of just, you know... Just going to the website just to simply read stuff. I mean, who likes reading? Um, 
you know, I want to have more entertainment, more kinds of entertainment for you guys to watch. So, with that in mind, I'm creating a, um, a series. When I say that, my Siri goes off. Um, where it'll go in the backstory of Sky Outlaw through her, um, through her training as a professional wrestler and, um, through, uh, her, uh, dealing with, uh, domestic violence, which brings me to, uh, one of the merch designs that I've designed as Max Mercury hits the Max Driver here on Brian Outlaw looking to get a win here, but Brian kicks out. And that shirt is the Worth More t-shirt. Um, it, it has Worth More and the Domestic Violence Awareness ribbon in purple on the front. Um, because domestic violence, uh, that awareness ribbon, purple is the color for it. Um, so that's why it's got there. And, it's, and it has the hashtag, Guys Above Violence. So it raises awareness of domestic violence, specifically in male victims, as I myself, unfortunately was a victim of domestic violence in high school. So, you know, I'm using that as a sort of way to raise awareness of something that is very, not only controversial, but very prevalent in today. And uh, a portion of that money, uh, I haven't decided what, where it will go, but it'll, it'll be uh, donated. It'll be donated. I haven't decided where it'll go, but it will. Who is my favorite wrestler? Um, um, from probably from WWE wise, I really got into wrestling because of Paige. Um, as far as old school, um, like WWF, I would have to say Mick Foley, and not just because I met him. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Mick Foley. He was a really nice guy, one of the most down to earth guys I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, I guess I've also had the pleasure of meeting uh, Jerry the King Lawler, so I really liked him. Not necessarily as a wrestler, but, you know, as a person that was in WWF as a commentator with Jim Ross. Who I will also be meeting Jim Ross in July, so I'm excited to do that as well. Um, but I have the pleasure of meeting those two fellas, and those two guys were some of the nicest guys that any wrestling fan could ever meet. Entire life. Brian looking to hit the correction here on Max Mercury. It appears that Max Mercury again will have a loss on his record here. Brian tries to go up to the top rope. Max is right there waiting for him. But a jailbreak DDT right there. A little bit close to the rope, so let's see if this is a rope break, but I guess not. One, two, and Max kicks out at two and a half. I'm also looking to uh, get um, some Luna Outlaw masks made. Um, if you go all the way back to season three, when... Um, When uh, Luna Outlaw debuted, she debuted with a mask on that glowed. Um, so I'm going to try and get uh, a mask made. It's probably not going to glow and look all cool like it does in the game, but it'll be something that you can wear. As... As who is this? Who's coming out to spoil the fun? It seems that it was Chris Danger's music... I think it was Chris Danger's music that hit. Little bit of a distraction there from Brian Outlaw. The, the mind games between him and Chris have been going on for quite some time now. As Brian looking to hit a guilty verdict here on Max Mercury right in the middle of the ring. Doesn't seem to face him at all as he gets the victory quickly over Max Mercury. And again, Chris Danger playing those silly little mind games with the champion as they will face off against each other at RCW Rebirth 
just a couple of episodes. So, basically the rundown of a season of RCW is we have 20 episodes a season, every 10th episode being a pay-per-view, so you get two pay-per-views. And the reason for that is, is because I like to build up storylines. I'm not like WWE, where I have three, four, five, six, seven pay-per-views um, all the time and having the same match over and over and over. I like to build my storylines throughout the season as they go on. And what happens is, after the 10th episode, <laughs> after the 10th episode, consider it like a mid-season finale. So basically, we take a little bit of a short break, and then I write the storylines for the second se half of the season, and then the same thing goes for, um, the same thing goes for a season finale. So... After RCW Rebirth, which will be episode 20, which will be the season finale of season 6, we'll be taking a little bit of a break then to write the storylines for season 7. So, I like to do that because not only it gives me time to make more compelling stories for you guys, but it also gives you guys time to catch up um, by watching it on YouTube, the website, or wherever you decide um, to watch it, or you can watch some of them in the VODs if you like. Um, so it benefits all of us. As the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson look to take on the Lucha Bros in Ray Phoenix Pentagon Jr. Now, the Young Bucks had defeated the Undisputed Era, who are the RCW World Tag Team Champions currently. Which means they could find themselves in a title shot in the next coming episode. Who knows, anything can happen in the world of RCW here as we start off Pentagon Jr. And I believe that is Matt Jack. It's Nick. Nonetheless, one of the... <laughs> oh, they're both the Young Bucks, so... Pentagon. That mare take down. Back there. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Goldberg. And of course, in Now, Dean Ambrose. I love John Moxley. His John Moxley persona. Back in like CZW. Better than his WWE. Because I watched him before he was Dean Ambrose. So, I never really was fond of the Dean Ambrose character, especially with what he's doing in AEW right now um, as the AEW world champion. I feel like Dean Ambrose was kind of a watered-down version of John Moxley. And once you watch a star on the indies, and then they go to WWE and... You know, Vince McMahon takes over. It's not always the great. And we all know that. I'm pretty sure all of us wrestling fans know. Get into the corner now. Going for it here. Oh my, what a DDT. Tags in his brother, Nick Jackson, here. This is at... Like I said, can't tell these guys apart sometimes. Tell Ray Phoenix and Pentagon Jr. apart, because they wear different masks. Look different. Um, but sometimes it's hard to tell the young bucks and... The same thing with the Usos. I get the Usos mixed. The gun drops. X in there. 
And Jackson grabbing the foot of Pentagon. Oh, but Pentagon with a kick to the midsection there. Down with the Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, rolling him up into a Boston Crab here, trying to get Matt Jackson to tap out. But Matt showing his resiliency here. Getting out of that hold. They've had back problems in the past, but oh, what an ins insiguri there. Stopping Pentagon right in his tracks there. Now the Young Bucks look for this double team here. What a double super kick! But Pentagon is right there to tag in Ray Phoenix of the Lucha Bros. Oh, but a poison Rana there. From Nick Jackson. Into the corner now. Oh, and a drop kick right to the back of Phoenix. But Phoenix gets right back up, but a boot right to the face. I don't know how much that mask is protecting the face, but... Oh, Find out throughout this match as this match rolls on here. Oh, now throwing Nick right back into the ring now. Not giving him any breathing room. Young Bucks, possibly one of the best tag teams in the world. Modern day wrestling here. Definitely had the pleasure of watching them in Japan with the Bullet Club. And that was really a... Not in real life, I wish. Tags in Matt here with this double team. What are the Young Bucks going for here? Oh my, what a swanton off of the second rope. An elbow drop right to the back there of Phoenix. Preventing that tag. Two Pentagon. An inverted DDT right in the middle of the ring there. Pentagon gets hit off of the apron, preventing Phoenix from doing anything here. Northern Lights suplex there. Oh, I love I love it when the Young Bucks do this. Oh, I thought he was gonna roll through a third time, because I know in real life he rolls through a third time and he hits it a, he hits it a third time, but not this time. Plus, possibly it's not the Triple Northern Light Suplex is not in this game, possibly. Maybe that's why it didn't get added into the moveset. Maybe that's why it didn't get added into the moveset. Who knows? I apologize for my dog's barking. I have no idea what the barking is. Nor do I care, either. I think it's garbage day today. I think they're picking up the... Oh no, it's FedEx. FedEx dropping off something. I don't know what it is, but... I thought it was garbage day today. Because it usually is, because today is Wednesday. I also have a Discord as well. Um, for those of you that want to join in. Uh, that is possibly one of the best ways to get in contact with me if you don't have Twitter, if you don't like social media for whatever reason. Thank you, Lightning, for the follow. I appreciate it. Man, I love that custom GIF. I gotta make more of those. It's actually a custom GIF that I had to actually make myself, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I want to come back here for Ray Phoenix here in this match. Oh, may have busted, I think, Matt open there. Hard to tell. I can't see him yet. But I think Matt knows 
what he needs to do here. Unicorn stamp feed, possibly. <laughs> Figured it was. Whatever works, I guess. Whatever works for the Young Bucks, they're gonna do it. Gonna get the win here over the Lucha Bros, but Ray Phoenix picks out at two. Oh, but Ray Phoenix firing back now. And a clothesline. To Nick Jackson as he tags in Pentagon. A much needed tag too as well. Uh oh. Gonna happen here. Pile driver from Pentagon. Dragging him a little bit. Matt Jackson may have gotten involved there, but there was no reason to. These strikes here from Nick. Seeing these two together on AEW, definitely. Two of my favorite tag teams in all of wrestling. Besides the Hardy Boys and the Dudleys, of course. Wow, what a move there from Nick Jackson. Standing shooting star press there. They're continuing to wear down the Lucha Bros. And to do it again. Second rope. And again throwing Pentagon back into the ring. And only win it here inside the ring that's exactly what nick looks to do but only a one count only a one count uh oh now rolling up nick into the boston crab now and matt breaks it up now a kick to the midsection Again, these quick strikes here. Dropping Pentagon. Oh, but an Irish whip to the corner. I think he was trying to Irish whip Pentagon into his corner. That went against. Oh, almost caught with a super kick, but a jawbreaker there to stop it right away. Holy shit. Oh my god, Spud Gaming. Spud! No, you didn't have to do that shit, bro. Come on, man. What is this? The, what is this? The WWF and our WCW raid? For love of god, dude. You didn't have to do that. Holy shit, bro. Not cool. It almost made me lose this match. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words right now. Throwing me off of my wrestling commentary here. Throwing me off of my wrestling commentary. How dare you? I'm kidding. I love you, man. How was the uh, Skyrim stream? I know you need. I know you wanted to really stream uh, ESO, but your PC shit the bed on you and didn't want to do it. So, yeah, I've been noticing that too, man. Twitch just keeps unfollowing people, and I don't like it. Matt Jackson hits that super kick.
I've had my fair share of playing ESO, and I definitely enjoyed it. Oh, Pentagon got out of that corner real, real quick. Yokai, congratulations on the affiliate, man. It's been awesome. Let me know if you need any, like, t-shirts or anything or anything designed. I'll try to get some stuff designed for you. I do a lot of that cool stuff when you're when you're ready to, to do that. Because having merch is one of the greatest things, I think. And, and um... You know, it's 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 pretty awesome. It's just awesome to have fun fun to make. Northern light suplex here from Matt. Another suplex combination there. The Young Bucks look to get the win here over the Lucha Bros here. Oh, almost did. Ice White, thank you for the lurk. It means so much to me, man. Appreciate it. Do your thing. Appreciate it. My dad's going to be designing some stuff for me, but I'll let you know. Okay, thanks. All right, man. Just figured I'd offer. You go wheel wheelbarrow. Oh my! Oh my! Wasn't sure exactly what that was, but it doesn't matter as the Young Bucks get the victory here over the Lucha Bros. You can see, I believe it was Matt there that was bleeding a little bit, but a little blood don't hurt nobody. A little blood don't hurt, and the Young Bucks. Go up the tag team title rankings. This definitely will help them for a future title shot. We'll have to see what happens next for them as we move on to the next match. Again, we have our first ever Ravage Cage main event. Ready, set, game 17. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Now that I think about it, I really want to, like, I might do that after stream. Like, I, what I really want to do is I really just want to have, like, every GIF and almost every alert custom. So, like, have all the outlaws in there and, and just do their theme songs and shit. So, the Ravage Cage match is a five minute cage match five limit time five limit time no five minute jesus christ time limit and you have to escape the cage within five minutes no pinfalls or any submissions you have to escape the cage within five minutes how's it going ready set game i appreciate you coming in appreciate the follow too as well Heavy! Good to see you in here, buddy. I swear to God, like, if you guys, honestly, I'm going to give a little bit of a shout out here. And that's a shout out to Heavy, because honestly, this guy, I swear to God, doesn't matter if you're, like, feeling really shitty or whatever you're feeling. Like, if you need a quick laugh, definitely check out his stream. Kills me every time. Man, just especially with his with his like transitions and you know, the the whole raid thing. How he like says raid, raid over and over. I'm <laughs> funny looking. It helps. Well, <laughs> heavy. To be fair, have you seen the way I walk? That's even more funny. Swear to God, that, that, that's a tragedy within itself. <laughs> oh, man. I have too much fun, man. I have way too much fun dissing myself. 
We haven't seen Jason Outlaw in quite some time here, so I thought, why not have him on the, have him on the card, brother and sister, brother, Outlaw family, brother of Brian Outlaw, cousin of Jack Outlaw, and brother to Luna and Sky Outlaw, the Outlaws. Hype, that is right. So, I'm in think. I've been thinking, because I've been getting a lot of questions um, regarding, like, emotes and stuff. Because I've hit affiliate a long time ago. Um, you know, we have some really awesome sub badges made by the famous Waba Plays. It's steel chair sub badges. So if you choose sub, not a requirement, of course, but if you do choose to sub, you will get a nice steel chair <laughs> next, to your, next to your name, which is awesome, which is the outlaw weapon of choice, I might add. But I've been thinking about emotes because a subscription wouldn't be complete without email. And a lot of people of Avenger Friends have been using Dark Arrow as, you know, their artist. And I've been looking at some of his work and I have an idea to run by you guys. And that is what if, okay? This is just a what if here. What if I was able to make emotes of the outlaws? Of, of the five, five outlaws or just the four main outlaws of the outlaw family. Like, have an emote of Sky or have an emote of Brian doing something or something like that. Because the outlaws are such a huge part of anything and everything that I do, including my YouTube content as Kevin Owens hits a cannonball. Um, and I would just love to see Sky as an emote. I can just imagine that. But a lot of people want a Sky Outlaw pillow though, but the only thing I'm scared of is what people will do to them. <laughs> I mean, I would love to have a Sky Outlaw pillow, but Kevin Owens hits a pop-up power bomb there. Didn't expect Jason to kick out at one, but that's exactly what happened. Now, Kevin Owens and Brian Outlaw have a pact here, and that is Kevin Owens had made an agreement to return to RCW only, and I mean only if he got a title shot. From Brian Outlaw, as Brian Outlaw is the RCW World Champion, as he was victorious tonight in in the start of the show. As Jason hits the VR knee strike, the visiting room knee strike here on Kevin Owens. But Kevin Owens kicks out at two and a half. And that pack, I don't know how long that's going to last. Because... You can't be friends to get to the top of the mountain. So I don't know how long that friendship, and I use the term friendship very usely, loosely. Jesus, I can't talk today. What's going on today? I'm literally botching my words. I mean, it's in my name, but reels, I'm like botching my words right now. So I wonder how long that pact is actually going to last and those two are actually going to still remain friends. But who knows? They have a drop kick here from Jason. Now the outlaws aren't ones to go up top on the top rope. They are more agile than anything else. But just as I say that, look at the move off of the middle rope from Jason here trying to get the win over Kevin Owens and a kick out of two. Down to the arm of KO. Oh, tried for the bail kick, but KO went up, moved out of the way. This match still continues here in a middle rope cross body from Jason Outlaw here. A leg drop. By the way, you can pick up some Jason Outlaw merch on my merch store. You can use the command exclamation point store there. You can use the command store. A portion of that money goes to me, so it definitely helps out on... Um, Get me some really awesome stream stuff, but also you get some really kick-ass merch out of it. 
And the whole idea was, when I created the merch store, was I wanted to make the, the merch very affordable to you guys. Because I, I know how much, you know, wrestling stores can charge for wrestling t-shirts. And to me, it's just about you guys enjoying having something to wear that looked badass. It's not about me, it's about you guys. And I wanted to give back to you guys, and, and that's the best way I could have. And that is to make some badass merch for you guys. As Kevin Owens looking to get the victory here over Jason, and he kicks out a two. Uh-oh. Kevin Owens may be looking for the pop-up powerbomb or maybe even the Stone Cold Stunner here. But no. Oh! Jason tried to hit the bail kick. Moved out of the way a little bit. Kevin Owens doing a little bit of sidestepping. And again, Kevin Owens moved out of the way. What part of New York am I in? Uh, I am in upstate. So any, uh, the closest, I would say, the closest, like, major city to me is Buffalo. So we're pretty much under complete lockdown right now, which freaking sucks ass! Um, it really does. Um, and, like, I just feel bad for all the local businesses right now. Because there's a lot, there's a local business near me that... I always try and support by ordering from them. And, um... Long Island isn't on lockdown yet. I'm surprised they're not. We are, pretty much. Like, they've, they've closed legit everything here. You know, it, it, it's freaking insane as... Jason hits the bail kick, finally! Oh, but using the ropes for leverage here. But Kevin Owens kicks out. Kevin Owens kicks out. Thank you for the host, Yokai. I appreciate it. And a VR knee strike. No, I think Kevin Owens moved out of the way. Kevin Owens. By the way, that's a custom alert too as well. That is Luna Outlaw and her music. <laughs> Stunner! Stunner on Jason out of nowhere there. And Jason, oh my, kicks out at two and a half again. Man. Can somebody clip that for a minute? Can somebody please clip that for me? I've been trying to like get some really good, good calls in there. Oh, and a power bomb from Kevin Owens. Oh my God, what is Kevin Owens doing? Oh no, not again. Not again, Kevin. No, Kevin, no. Pop a power bomb. I think that might be the end of Jason here. And it is as Kevin Owens gets the victory. Over Jason. Wow. Jason showed a lot of heart here in this match. Not many people kick out of the stunner. But Jason did. But it wasn't enough. Take the fight out of Kevin Owens. As his shirt says fight anyone. And he definitely will. As we move on to our next match. event yet who knows no it is not we have seth rollins versus drew mcintyre this is our co-main event this definitely could be a main event match main event caliber match here ac thank you for the lurk i appreciate it Now, the one thing I try to do 
is even though I have to call the matches, I try to always interact with you guys. I try my best to read chat, which is why I have like my laptop right here in front of me. Um, and that eye level, so I can just take a glance over. Thank you for the clip. Thank you so much for that. I really wanted that to happen. Uh, you should have heard the uh, the V trigger call that I did. I think I posted it on Twitter. That was a really good call. I, I love doing that. Seth Rollins with a neck breaker there. The Drew McIntyre. Now he had a grueling match with Kenny Omega at RCW Destiny and something tells me that that rivalry isn't over. We will have to find out as it goes on here. Drew McIntyre not in a good way right now. Now, for those of you that are wrestling fans, um, I'd like to drop some news on you guys. Um, and this has just been the rumors that have been accumulating since, you know, this stupid virus has gone ridiculously stupid and, and, and viral and, and whatnot, or I don't... Since the world's gone to shit. Um, basically... The rumor is, is that WrestleMania will not be taking place in the performance. I know WrestleMania will be rescheduled the June 7th in Madison Square Garden. Which, in my opinion, do it. Do it. Because it's not going to be the same if Drew McIntyre wins the WWE title with no crowd there. Makes no sense. Vince, please. I'm begging you, please do that. Because there's no... You're going to tell me you're going to have the biggest show of the year with no audience. It's understandable if it's Raw or SmackDown. It's already weird enough with having Stone Cold come out and chug a bunch of beers without the crowd going, What? Every few seconds. It's already weird enough. Don't, don't make WrestleMania suck because of the fact that this stupid virus has taken over. And a back suplex there to Drew McIntyre. Left to the head of Seth Rollins is Drew McIntyre fighting back. Oh, and a big boot to Seth Rollins. As Drew McIntyre continues to fight back here in this match. A chop is then Seth Rollins to the apron. He has none of his disciples out here. Where are your disciples, Seth? They're not out here. Oh, and a huge chop again to Seth Rollins. As Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath. Taking it to Seth and another big boot to Seth Rollins. Play the ref. I would love to do that. That'd be fantastic. That was one of my things that I wanted in 2K21 with special guest referee. Now, can you guys imagine Luna Outlaw or Sky as the referee? Sky would come out in some cutoff <laughs> shirt like Paige, used. Paige did the one time. Let, let me say, let me say that was a pleasant thing. I will say that. Then again, Paige has always been a pleasant thing. Yeah. Duplex back in the ring there from Drew McIntyre. Whatever, kind of a lazy cover there. There, there is no special guest referee. No, there is none. There hasn't been special guest referee in the 2K series yet, I don't think. Duplex there. Drew McIntyre. Oh, and the knees. The midsection one. No, Drew McIntyre kicks out. There was in the SmackDown vs. Raw series, if I remember correctly. Seth Rollins looking for the curb stomp, but Drew McIntyre with a reversal. 
Oh, but a big elbow. Turns it around for Seth Rollins. And another big elbow by Seth. Now Seth going up top. Monday Night Messiah. I don't care what you want to call him as he goes for that elbow drop. One. Two. And Seth Rollins almost had it. Almost had it as Drew McIntyre kicks out at the last second. Seth Rollins refusing to go down without a fight. Seth Rollins! Oh my! Nobody home there! It's Drew McIntyre looking for the future shock DDT on Seth. One. No! Seth Rollins kicked out at one. Talk about a no-sell. Talk about a no-sell from Seth Rollins. He ain't selling that, Drew. And a back elbow there. Seth Rollins trying to pump himself up. Took a little bit too much time, though. Drew McIntyre wearing him down. I don't know if that was... A wise decision by Seth Rollins, but I don't want to get in trouble. Even though that I'm the manager of this show and the booker, I don't want to get in trouble with the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. I don't want him to crucify me. The best wrestling on TV right now. I highly doubt that. Ah, uh, Slev, but... Super kick to Drew McIntyre. I would say that AEW is the best wrestling on TV right now. Considering that they're still having their shows with fans. They're just relocating them in a place where they can have their shows with fans. And Seth Rollins with the curb stomp to Drew McIntyre. Drags over for the cover. One. Two. Well, maybe it's just my subpar commentary. I'm no JR, but I try my best in a pile driver there. Yeah, I'm playing as I'm playing as Seth, yeah. I always I always play as somebody, but that doesn't mean that he's gonna win. That's the trick. You guys don't know the whole idea. If I were to just do it AI versus AI, then I wouldn't be able to do the storylines that I like to do. It would just be kind of weird. First whip into the ropes now. Oh, Drew McIntyre pushing Seth off there. Oh, and a Glasgow kiss. A Glasgow kiss to Seth Rollins. One, two. And Seth Rollins with the kick out at two. Got a big shot. Is heavy is heavy turning heel on Slev right now? Or, uh, I think heavy's turning heel. Yeah, I think that's uh, happening. But Slev, you would always be the baby face, honestly. No offense, but you would always I could always picture you being a baby face. I could never picture you being healed just the way you are. Seth Rollins again going for that super kick to Drew McIntyre. I'm already a great heel because I play one. I play I play like five heels. Gotta tell you, playing Luna is pretty fun. Curb stomp again. To Drew McIntyre. One, two, three, and Seth Rollins. Gets the victory. Oh, you used to be a backyard wrestler? What? That's pretty dope. Pretty cool. Why didn't you pursue it, though? Could be in WWE by now. That's what you're supposed to do. 
You're supposed to talk about yourself as Kenny Omega ruins the celebration for Seth Rollins. Kenny Omega. Like I said, this isn't over yet, but Seth Rollins fighting back here against Kenny. I knew this wasn't over. I just knew it in a neck breaker on Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega, though. Taking it back here against Seth Rollins. Drop kick. Dominal stretch there as Seth Rollins is tapping. Seth Rollins is tapping. Oh, a small package. I thought I was going to see the V-trigger because I love calling that move. But Kenny Omega ruins the celebration of Seth Rollins. As we move on. And I believe... Yes, this is the main event. Chaotic, what's going on, man? Appreciate you in here, man. Everyone say hello to Chaotic. This is the man behind... The Angle Podcast with me and Young Sin. He's also the co-owner of my website as well. He is pretty awesome. Really good at catchphrases. Um, notifications um, on my phone here so that I don't be like... What's going on? What's going on? Um, so, before we get into this match, I just want to go over the rules again. This is not a regular steel cage match. This is a ravage cage match. We're, all, we're both competitors, in this case Sky Outlaw and Ariel herself, will be trapped in a black steel cage for five minutes. You have five minutes to escape the cage. Five minutes. No pinfalls, no submissions. You must escape the cage within the five-minute time limit. Let's see what's going to happen. We got Skyfall versus the Code Blue Knee Strike. Get it on here. We are underway here. Look at the steel cage. I don't know why the clock ain't showing, but it could be showing, but it's not. Problem? Clock should be showing, but it's not. Unless I a HUD. Unless there's like a HUD set. Hang on, guys. Gotta figure this out real quick. Figure out why. No. I have to figure out why there is no time limit here. I have to figure out why there is no time limit. That's weird, because I set it to be so that there is one. Minute. Give me a second while I fix this shit. Wait. Let me simulate it and then let me go. Just do it. On another show, so that way it's it's the right one. Do it that way. It'll be better if I do it that way. Then 
trying to load it into exhibition. Well, I could load it into, you know what? I could do that. But then it would just look weird if I did it that way. No, outlaw versus probably the I'll just edit main event and then simulate everything else. Guys. Didn't expect this to happen because it because I know I created the match. Savage <laughs> Cage. Okay, there we go. Okay. Match is what it should be. Yeah, I know it is 2K20. The, the, I've never had a problem, though, with that. That's, that's the funny thing, is I've never had an issue with... Try this. There we go. Okay, so it should be it should be the right one now. I don't know why. Saying on the calendar, the card be the right one. We're just gonna start this random show and then just keep. And then just simulate it all the simulate all the randomness matches all the way to match that we want. Okay, guys. I think we should be set now. Cross our fingers. I apologize for that. I have no idea what the game did. <laughs> it's bound to happen one way or the other. At least it's better than the game actually crap in the bed. Great, I just said that. Now it's actually going to do that on me. Yeah, but Yokai, we definitely have to. I know that you're on PlayStation, is that correct? Um, but we definitely got to figure out a way that we can at least collaborate in some way. Some okay, now we are right. I only have 2K19 on. Oh, we'll figure out some way. Maybe we'll make you in this game. <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out. And then you could just send me your entrance song, and then... To me, yeah, I like it better, but I love the way Sky looks in this game. Can we just talk about it? Can we just talk about how fabulous she looks in this game? Guy there with the big boot and the punches here. Sassy punches. From Sky as the clock winds down. You gotta go quick. Gotta go quick as Ariel. Trying to fight back. But Sky has... Everything going for her right now. 
Ariel trying to fight back with the knee strikes. He got five minutes to escape the cage. Oh my! What a move there from Ariel. Taking Sky down there. Oh, but a DDT reversal there from Sky. Drop kick there. Another one. Can't give your opponent any time to breathe here, and I don't think Sky's gonna let anything happen. He's going up top. But she's not waiting. Oh my god, Swanton Bomb from the top. Swanton Bomb from the top. Guy looking to turn this around though. Into the sky fall off of the top. Sky fall off of the top. As Sky's looking to ascend the cage with two minutes and 30 seconds left as Ariel's trying to get her down. drops her from the electric chair. But Sky refusing to go down without a fight here. Oh, looking for Sky's the limit here. Sky's the limit on Ariel. Sky's got to Guy's got to keep going. Sky's got to keep going. But I don't know why she decided to go back down. But Ariel just keeps trying to get up. Kick to the midsection here. And a drop kick again. But Ariel gets right back up still. These ladies are still fighting. With a minute and 20 seconds left. You only got so much time to fight. Guy's waiting up. Guy's taking a little bit too long. And she again tries to ascend. Tries to ascend to the cage here. Gets a shot with her leg. And oh again gets pulled down. Again, getting pulled down. Yeah, snap less than a minute. There's got to be a winner here. It's sky's the limit again. Guy looking to ascend. Guy's trying to ascend to the top of the cage here. She's got 10 seconds to go. In the event that she doesn't escape the cage and it's a draw, but it appears that Sky's up at the top of the cage. It's a draw. None of these men, none of these women could escape the cage. But like I said, we have we have one rule here in RCW. Matches don't end in draws. Matches won't end in draws. They don't. That's not how we do things. Matches can't end in countouts. They can't end in draws. So that forces us to restart the match. You gotta keep going until somebody escapes the cage. Guys definitely has to take advantage of this now. Oh my, what a Uranagi there. 
Oh, a reversal from Ariel, though. Reversal from Sky and a neck breaker. And a big boot there from Ariel. Again, we have to do this until there's a winner. As Ariel's already looking to go. He's already looking to escape already. This guy's taking a little bit of too much time to get up. As they're in the electric chair, takes her down. And now Sky's going. Sky's going. He's gonna try and go. He's gonna try and escape the cage. Oh, Sky though. Sky with a kick. Has Ariel down to one knee. And gets pulled down again. And these two ladies are really fighting right now. <laughs> these two ladies are really fighting. As Ariel's... Trying to... Escape the cage and Sky again, preventing that from happening. How much can you go? How much is enough? She knows. She knows that Ariel's getting back up. She takes her down. Time for a drop kick. No, she's wasting valuable time here. Oh my! And that may have just cost her. That may have just cost her as Sky has to try and stop Ariel again. Dropping her down, but she's got to figure something out. She's going for it. She's going for it. Oh my! Skyfall from the top. This is exactly what Sky needs right now. As Ariel is laying right there, motionless. Sky's gonna try and escape. Sky's gonna try and escape. Ariel's getting back up. Ariel's getting back up. But Ariel gets kicked down again. Only a minute left to go now. And again, she's so close. Sky is so close at this point. Sky is so close. She just has to make it. She's got to make, make it over. And Ariel keeps on getting up. She's not stopping right now. She gets pulled back down. This might end in a draw again. But like I said, we'll keep on going until somebody gets out of the cage. Until somebody gets out of the cage, we're going. We're still going to keep going until somebody gets out of the cage. Somebody's got to get out. Somebody's got to go. Somebody's got to get out of the cage. And we're going to keep going until somebody does.
I really thought Sky had it that time. I really did. He came so close, but yet so far. Just got to get enough. To keep. To keep Ariel down. Oh, and a clothesline in the corner. But Sky has her right where she wants her now. Sky going for Sky's the limit right away here. It's exactly what she needs to do. She tried to go for Skyfall, but Ariel was getting up a little bit too quick. And she's still getting up. Gotta keep her down somewhat. And Sky knows exactly how to do it with a Skyfall again. And now Sky finds herself. This is exactly where she needs to be right now. He can escape. He can escape. If she's able to just get her foot over. He's so close right now. He's so close right now. But Ariel's preventing her from getting out of the cage fully. Now both ladies on the side of the cage. Both ladies fighting. Ariel's trying to escape. Sky is trying to escape. Both ladies on the side of the cage. But Ariel goes down. Ariel goes down from the side of the cage. It's all Sky right now. And again, she keeps on trying. She keeps on going. And again, Ariel goes down. Now Sky's got something to fight for here. She's got something to fight for as Ariel begins to stir, but I think it's gonna be too late here. As Ariel watches, as Sky ascends to the floor, or descends, I guess, and Sky has won. Finally, Sky was able to escape the cage. He was able to escape the cage. And she celebrates as Ariel remains in the cage. And Sky has every right to celebrate as we're going to take a screenshot of that. Because why not finally get a picture of Sky smiling instead of looking all pissed off all the time. And that is our show, guys. I apologize for the three rematches. But like I said, we don't end matches in draws. Here on RCW, what a main event. Or three times the main event, I guess. What a main event we had. Sky finally able to get out of the cage in that five-minute time limit. I love making stipulations like that because you never know what's going to happen. That's the part of that's one of the reasons why in my WWE 2K21 wishlist video I wanted more 
custom match types. So I can do all this crazy stuff. And with that being said, that has been our show, guys. I'm just going to lay off a couple things here before I uh, hop off and do my thing here. Um, and that is, if you missed any of this show, it, it goes on... It goes on my YouTube afterwards, and it also goes on the website. It, it goes on uh, my website, ProWrestlingGA.com. I'll enter that in there for you guys. Is the commands working right now? No, they're not. Well, uh, I'll fix that. Quick. I'll fix that, because I never realized they weren't working all stream. But sometimes I'll have Streamlabs open. It doesn't work the way it should. I'm reloading chatbot for you guys so you guys can get that link there. I'll definitely... I'll, I'm making, like, a lot of adjustments to the stream. Um, obviously, with new um, screens and new panels. There it is. There we go. So you guys can check out... My website there, it, it has been live since January 7th of this year. So, um, you know, the development of it started in November and it's been live since January 7th. It is accessible on mobile and, and, uh, computer. I have to say that I've tried out, um, both on my phone on my actual phone and on um computer some of the stuff you would imagine functions better on a computer than it does on the phone so like um the rcw episode all of that is like um just stuff that's posted on my youtube that gets put over to the website so obviously that's gonna work better on the computer to to watch the rcw stuff off the website like like not using the website you would obviously just use the youtube app and just watch it that way um but there you will find um there you will find the rcw episode so every single episode including this one um from season one all the way up um you don't need to watch all of the episodes to understand what goes on. Um, there are a lot of times in my wrestling commentary I'll bring up, you know, past matches maybe or whatever. So, you know, you can... You can decide to watch those, but you don't necessarily have to. Because um, every season has different storylines, but sometimes I refer back to stuff that happened in the past. So... If you're wondering, when I do that, if you're wondering, what the hell is he talking about? Go back and watch some of the other episodes. Um, it has been awesome doing these six seasons for you guys. When RCW just started, when it started, um, you know, when it was like a six episode per season, it was kind of like a test run. Do I really want to do this? Because I put a lot of, you know, with me getting bombarded with college Oh, I wouldn't say bombarded. That's a little bit over-exaggerated. Um, but with, you know, college work and everything, even when I'm in college and even when I'm in the zone and I'm in class, I'm supposed to be paying attention to what my professor is. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking, what storylines can I book for RCW? What storylines, what can I do for my YouTube content? What can I do for this? In the back of my mind, I'm always thinking that. Ah. So... Because I love this so much and because I love everything that I do and I give 110% to everything that I do, I won't... I, I didn't settle for that draw, as you guys seen. I, I did a rematch like three times. I didn't settle for that draw because I want good entertainment treat. When we experienced those two crashes on the last episode of RCW, I restarted the stream and rebooked it so I could shut all the entrances off so that it didn't crash for you guys. Um, you know, I did that so that you guys could, you know, fully enjoy the show for what it is. 
Um, obviously, designing the merch was kind of a um, an idea that came later. But I never expected um, RCW, this fictional universe, to turn into what it is. Um, obviously, the Outlaws have made it ten times more popular than it's already been. Um, a lot of you guys love Luna and Sky, and that's why I, and that's why I booked them a lot on the card. Um, you know, but the one question that I want to answer for anybody who may be wondering is, how do I join this universe? How do I become a part of it? And the answer is just simply being here. Um, being here, watching the streams, and and either if you can't make it to when it's actually live, like now, um, you know, watching the streams archived on my VODs or archived on my YouTube or archived on my website, any other way that you do or show your support is meaningful. You know, buying the merch, you know, that's another thing. Um, you know, I, I own a lot of wrestling shirts and some of them are mine. Um, some of them are mine. Um, you know, so it's it's cool to have, you know, have people wear the shirts. And don't be afraid to send me screenshots. If you, yourself, you get one of the shirts and you want to rep it, definitely tag me on Twitter. I definitely would love to see that. There's no, there's nothing in the world that I would love to see more than people rocking them. I spend a lot of time designing those things. Um, and, and a lot of it's simple designs, but most of it takes a lot to put together. And the storylines that I do for this show take a lot to put together as well. You know, you guys may just see a universe mode with seven or, f or five to seven matches booked, and that's it. But a, a lot of it that, that happens behind the scenes, there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that you guys don't see in, in the things that I have to take care of to me. I have to write down stuff. I have to think stuff in my head. I'm up till like 3 a.m., doing this stuff oh you know, I'm, I'm up till you know i'll think of a good promo and i'll write it down in my notes app in my promo folder or i'll think of a good storyline and i'll write it down or you know and and often storylines start as a simple idea and they then they get expanded um they get expanded and you know something happens um so with that being said i thank you guys for everything that you and uh, oh, and it it's fantastic. I'd like to thank Spud for the raid. I was definitely not expecting that. I think that's the whole point of a raid to not expect it. Um, like Sleb says, give um, give everything expect zero. And I think that's the greatest advice that anybody can get. Um, you know, and and that ju doesn't just go for streaming. That just goes for real life. Um, you know, because if you constantly give, 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 and you expect things to happen to you, um, that ends up turning you into a really crappy person. Um, I've seen things in the streaming universe that I never want to see. That is, you know, people expecting things. Expecting to grow and expecting to get affiliate. And, or, you know, complaining that they only have one person watching. Or complaining that they, hey, those are people that have taken the time out of their day to see. Um, even if it's a lurk, it's still showing support because they still have your stream up. When you know they could be using their computer for something else, could be using that tab for something else. You know, there, there's support is support, and if you don't give it, you don't receive it. Um, and and it's. It's not a one-way street, you know, and, and I and I say that constantly. And, and you know, it's, uh, I'm happy that, you know, I'm a part of a community that, you know, supporting each other. Um, you know, I never thought that something as big as Twitch would get, would get what it does in terms of the friendships that I've built and whatever. Like, I see every single one of you as if you were... A real life friend of mine that I cool with every day. Um, you know, it it is it's something that not necessarily has taken over my life, but it's something that um, 
I enjoy doing. And through wrestling video games, no matter how crappy 2K20 is, um, I'm still willing to bring the entertainment that I do. And that includes recording. Um, that includes YouTube stuff. I edit, do all those crazy things in the My Career Universe mode you guys see. I do a lot of things uh, to make the content come to life. I actually, <laughs> with that being said, one of my closing announcements that I want to say is I have something special coming up um, or in production, and that is sort of like an intro video to the Brew Boys podcast. Um, not necessarily like an intro like Dueling Ogres did um, for, for those guys. They did, they did an intro... Uh, Doing Ogres did an intro that was like, Oh, the Brew Boys podcast, and it's your host, Real Fat Tony and Slev86. It's not something like that. I have something, I have like a little bit of a promo sort of video planned out uh, for the Outlaws. Like, before I actually get on that podcast, I have something huge planned. Um, it's going to be a promo, kind of where, you know, Brian Outlaw starts talking and shows you know, Sky Outlaw and it shows all the other Outlaws and everything. Um, and, you know, it's going to kind of, like, be the character of Brian Outlaw talking about himself. So, it's it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. I, I, I definitely want something cool because, you know, every episode of The Brew Boys um, is catered towards a specific streamer, um, usually. Um, when it first started, they, they were just having, like, conversations. Then they started getting streamers on. Um, to kind of share their story and to share where they're from. And I, I think that's a really cool thing to do because, you know, for some reason, people think that streamers aren't people <laughs> for whatever reason. Or they think that, like, that they're putting on sort of a character like they are in wrestling. And, and, there, and there is some truth to that. But at the same time, there are things that go on that the audience does not know. Um... And I think it's a great idea, and I commend Slev and Tony for doing this, um, for taking their audiences and, you know, their bigger audiences, like somebody like myself. You know, Slev is hit partner, pretty much. Um, you know, he, he filled out the application for partner, so happy for him, and I'm happy to share, uh, you know, everything that I can um, with his community and with Tony's community. Because they both stream it on their channels, and I'm, I'm happy to, you know, do that. And it's going to be awesome, and I'm excited. It's supposed to be this Friday, uh, from what I hear. Um, I'll have to t chat with Tony and Slev to figure out what the hell they're doing. Um, but uh, we had to reschedule it the one Friday because I had to go to SmackDown. Um, and now that everything's canceled, <laughs> and we are in quarantine, um... Now, um, what else are we going to do? Play video games. Uh, play video games and stream and work on stuff from home as far as college work. College go. Um, so I'm excited to do that. I will have that sort of... I don't know if I want to reveal it on Twitter or wait for it as a surprise. I may just do that. Um, I really want you guys to see it. I'm really excited. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys for joining. And I will catch you guys on another episode of RCW. Like I said, in case you missed any of this, um, any of this stream whatsoever, definitely um, check it out on the website earlier. I usually like to um, once as soon as I like stop streaming, I usually get ready to download it and then edit it and then everything else. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Um, Again, you know, the Outlaws are as much of a part of my life as they are. And I, I thank you guys for allowing me to, to do that. Because a lot of my real life experiences goes into the character. I want them to be as real as possible. Because that's one thing that is missing from wrestling nowadays. Is is that characters that mean something. To you. If the whole idea is to get a reaction out of the fans, like... And you go there to a live event. I want you guys to feel something every single time Brian Outlaw cuts a promo. Every single time Sky comes up. Um, 
I want you guys to feel that energy. If you were as if this was a re I try to do that. That being said, thank you. And I will catch you. Later, um, I will be recording some some more stuff today. Um, I'll be recording, I think, Luna Outlaw My Career Universe Mode and the Brian Outlaw My Career Universe Mode. I don't know if I'll upload them today. Um, but real quick, before I hop off here, I will think... Oh, wrong thing. Why are Why are not white? Um, that is my... Uh, YouTube link for now until we get like a custom URL and everything. Um, so if you guys want to check out more of my wrestling content, there it is on my YouTube. That is where the My Career Universe modes are. Um, that is where RCW is. That's where everything is. Um, for you guys to uh, check out some of my other content outside of stream. Um, pretty soon when the Chikara Action Arcade Wrestling game finally comes to consoles... Uh, I'll be doing another RCW-type universe. Probably won't be as high-tech or as in-depth as WWE 2K because it's an indie game, but still, it'll kind of be um, sort of what you see here. Uh, WWE 2K games. So I'm excited. I can't wait to share it all with you. Can't wait. Be on the Brew Boys on Friday. Excited. Please come out. For that um i don't know what time that's gonna be i'll have to i'll let you guys know on my twitter and i'm pretty sure sleb and tony will let you guys know too as well um but i've been advertising the hell out of that because i want to help them i want to go their support because it's their thing too not just me even though <laughs> a little bit of the brian outlaw comes out and i have a little bit of bragging rights um not just me um it's 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 them too and I'd like to thank them for giving me an opportunity to even share the story in a wide platform that is Twitch and with their communities. That being said, thank you guys. And I